Hello friends and potential friends. Well, left my mom's house this morning. Headed east and a little bit north. And right now I'm at the first rest area that I've come to. So far I see mostly fields of crops still in the Magic Valley. Mountains off in the background. A bit of sagebrush in the foreground. I'm going to be headed kind of north when I leave here. And we'll see where I wind up. But before I head off, figured I'd come see what the hysterical sight is. The Oregon Trail, Soda Springs. I'll try to hold steady. If you want to re pause and read it. And right next to it, discussion of some of the Native Americans in the area. And over here is the Oregon Trail. Coming from Missouri all the way out to Oregon and almost Washington State. And over on this side we have Lander Road. Interesting. And then Fort Hall. That's yeah, interesting too. Before I head back to the van, another quick look around at some of the wildflowers. They're pretty this time of year. And sagebrush. Seems to be everywhere. I'm still in the Magic Valley, but not all of it is magical. Okay, I'm going to get me something to drink and head back on, on the road. Well, here is where I plan on spending the night tonight. Uh, probably 15, 20 miles outside of West Yellowstone in the mountains surrounded by mountains in designated campsite number two. I have a fire pit. Don't plan on using it, but I have it. Let's see, rules and regulations. Food and odors attract bears. Don't leave anything that I brought with me. Campsite must be occupied first night. I'm in Custer Gallatin National Forest. Reminders, maintain a clean camp. Campsite must be occupied nightly. Do not burn trash in fire ring. Human waste must be buried eight inches deep and away from water. 
follow posted grizzly bear food storage order requirements drown your fire cold and wet 16 day stay limit this campsite is for recreational use only not as a residence I'm not allowed to live here besides which it's 7 o'clock in the evening it's already getting pretty chilly here so I'm not going to be living here in any case there are a couple of paths here I guess I'll take one of them just to see what I can see and just a short walk down the first path talking loudly so all the bears around know that I'm here and I found a little stream guess that's what I'll be hearing tonight even got myself a little waterfall see if I can get a better view of it big but it is good I said I was surrounded by mountains I didn't show you this side yet mainly because all we could see from the campsite was trees there's a mountain not far from there did I mention the elevation here is about 6800 feet it's already getting kind of chilly outside and I got some neighbors across the street pickup truck and a small tent so I'm gonna get settled in I'm not gonna be cooking I'm glad mom packed me a few sandwiches but I'm gonna turn in early tonight because it's gonna be a long day tomorrow well good morning just a few miles out the camping site had to come out here to find an internet signal so I could let my mom know I made it here okay got up this morning bright and early about 48 degrees overnight and this is what I was faced with Sorry about the traffic noise, but I just had to stop and take some video of this. I'm at roughly 6,800 feet above sea level. Up in the mountains. And this is what I get to see. Beautiful. I guess this is where that little stream was going. Well, I'll see you in a bit. Well, friends, welcome to Yellowstone National Park. I just picked up my lifetime military annual pass to all the national parks. And this was the first convenient place I found to stop inside the park. Try to get my bearings. And let me tell you, if you are a veteran, and in my case, I have my veteran status listed as part of my driver's license. I just had to show them a D, the DD-214 at the DMV, and they put that designation on it. So I just showed that to the lady, she handed me a pass, and it's good for the rest of my life. Gold Star families and military veterans get a free, let me repeat that, free lifetime pass to all the national parks, wildlife refuges and so on. 
good for a lot of discounts and well worth showing your DD214. But what I've seen so far, this place is beautiful. I suspect I'll be spending at least one day here. Maybe more based on the map. I'll show you what I can. Need I say more? that I'm standing in the caldera of a super volcano. That ought to remind you. That probably goes all the way to the center of the earth. Bubbling mud. Say about that one. Get up closer. Show it stuff. Thank <laughs> you. 
gonna clog the hole up. You like my look now? No. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Too. No, it's nature. It's not that. But where's the guy? Yeah, I don't know. It's just that. Daddy, you want to see the elephant? Do you want to go my shoulders again? She's a waving off. They miss us. They do miss us. Watch it. The animals will be sad when we're not there.
against my summer tradition, I found more water. This is Gibbon Falls, still in Yellowstone National Park. I'm thinking I might head back out the west end and go back to that campground I stayed in last night. So this was just almost four o'clock. I need to go ahead and get settled in for the night. Don't feel like driving all night. That's a pretty fall. Long way down up there. And on the other side, we got that. So I'm kind of on the middle of the mountainside. It's pretty. Well, there's what the rest of the river looks like. Once it leaves the falls. A lot of forest beyond. Well, after spending the day at Yellowstone, they saved me my sight. I'm back at Beaver Creek, site number two. Spend the night, and then tomorrow I'm going back into Yellowstone again. And we just might get some rain tonight. Can you hear that thunder? <laughs> 